Welcome to Atlanta's number one Southern Soul stream, Southern Soul Industry Vibes, live on Streets 989 Atlanta TV with your host, the First Lady, Southern Soul Historic MC Jazzy. Today we spotlight exclusively bass legends, trio, hip hop, and Southern Soul recording artists introducing CDA, Catrell Lopez, Augusta native, and previously of platinum recording group the southern blares rock artist and drummer as well as songwriter dave meyer and hype man anthony reigns aka big pony they join us today to share a little bit about their new release i dig that streaming worldwide on all social media platforms let's welcome them to the studio. Welcome, guys. How are you all tonight? All right. Hey. We're doing wonderful. Glad to be here. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for stopping by to share your new release. I dig that. And share a little bit about your new group and what's going on with you. Let's get started. Catrell, share with us a little bit about what's been going on. You guys are doing some major things. I see you doing some things here in Atlanta recently. Right. Yeah, we got a lot going on. Um, well, this what we're doing right now is CDA. Everything that we're doing from this point on will all be CDA. Right now, we got the song just hit the radio stations. It's killing the radio stations right now. We're getting people calling in for shows that's coming up. We got some stuff that's some big stuff that's about to really pop off. I haven't confirmed it yet, so I can't really say it, but we got some big stuff about to pop off. Awesome, awesome. So now Dave. Introduce yourself to the audience and tell them a little bit about who you are and your major, major influence to the CDA group. <laughs> well, I'm Dave Mayer, a drummer and backup vocalist and also songwriter. Uh, I met uh, Cantrell and uh, we started talking about some ideas for some music and he told me what he had in mind and uh, I jumped on board. I loved it. Uh, uh, he said, I want to do some, I want to get back into the real world of music and making some great sounds and, and rocking everybody out. But I want to do it with a hip hop feel. Uh, can you sing like this or can you do like this? And I said, yeah, man, I, I can rip it. You just asked me to do it and I got it. And so we just took off from there. Well, you know, I mean, you guys, you're, you're creating your own lane in the music industry with your latest hit. I dig that. You know, you still bringing that bass legendary tone to your to your to your music as well as you said hip hop. But I think you guys are shredding a little bit on that southern soul as well. So share with us how you guys are encompassing all of these different genres uh, to bring out this new trio. Uh, style that you guys are bringing well it, for me it's uh i'm sorry Kentrell, i didn't mean to talk over you it, no no go ahead. For, me, for me it's uh i asked Kentrell, you know as we're doing this i said well let's write music people can feel it's not just uh, something where you you get in the club and you dance and you forget about the song but I, you actually think about the content and in me you know having that working with musicians a lot, 
I want to bring that musicality and, and sensation of rocking the soul uh, while a Cantrell rips into the microphone and just grabs your attention. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You guys are, you know, like I say, I, I heard that you guys were getting ready to go back to the Atlanta video hip hip Atlanta yo Atlanta raps video music awards. You guys been nominated again? Yes, actually, uh, yeah, we have uh the Southern players. You know, we badass yep. back. Right, right. We yeah, we have, but you know, right now. It's all about CDA right now. Um, I'm going to move forward. You know, I wish them guys well. I wish everybody well. But right now, it's all about CDA, all about um, Music Nation Records. That says, that's our own label. And we doing our thing right now. So right now, this is right now this is really taking off so fast to the point that I'm just trying to keep up with it. Right. You, you just said that, you know, they're requesting the song on the radio. You mm -hmm. guys are performing. I know I, I saw you guys at the full four bar recently here in Atlanta. Right. And right. you guys are doing some things in the Augusta uh, area as well. So right. now what sets you apart? Uh, what makes you different from any other trio group that's banging out here in the music industry right now? We got our own style. Uh, differences in, in, in backgrounds, you know, life experiences, things that, you know, an artist is an artist. They're going to express what they've experienced and what they know. And uh, our backgrounds are, are a little different. And so when you combine them, it's just, it just, it's a whole nother a new art. It's a whole new expression, but it's with the same passion. Theme. Oh, oh. Okay, What's up, Ant? He can't say nothing because I can't edit his mic set and he's got he's got noise in the background. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Anthony? How we doing? Good. Is there any way you can turn your screen sideways? No? Sideways? <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you look skinny that way. <laughs> Wait, I'm upside down. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting for him to fall to the fall, fall out of the screen. I know. She said, "Turn it sideways." I mean, yeah, turn your phone sideways so your screen could be sideways. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Hold on. No. Yeah, but um, so I'm glad that he's here so that he can chime in and tell everybody a little bit about who he is and. Uh, what? Hey, thank you so much, Anthony. Yes, ma'am. Big Pony. What's up, Big Pony? What up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> Tell the audience a little bit about who you are and your contributions to CDA. Um, well, I'm Anthony Rains, part of CDA. Um, a former member of 12 Gauge. I used to be the hype man for 12 Gauge. And um, did a little work with uh, a live band called K-Trio. And um, we did a little stuff around Augusta and stuff like that. And then I touched bases with the Southern Players. Um, we did a song called, uh, uh, I, I can't remember. But um, but then. Um, it's about the booty shorts, isn't it? No, nah, it wasn't the booty shorts. We don't ride me. <laughs> no. Nah. No. Oh no! It was called "Say What You Say." It was called okay. Say what you say. Okay. It was called "Say What You I Say." I remember and, that one too. Yeah, and um, we uh, I think we did like a couple of months with that, and um, then I just chilled out for a moment, mm -hmm. and um, got a group with um BJ, and um, we did the group called Switch, and uh, we did a little touring with that. And then I land back with the Southern players, and me and Cantrell hooked up. And um, he was like, man, we're going to break off and do our own thing. And I was like, shoot, I'm on your coattail, bro. I know I probably ripped because I'm bigger than you, but, you yeah, know, I'm on your coattail. And he introduced me to Dave, and Dave is just a wonderful person. You know what I'm just saying? Um, it's, it's hard to meet people in the industry and uh, click the way we click. You know what I'm saying? Because we're bringing a different sound to people. Um, 
we want them to be able to enjoy themselves and not have to look over their back and just have a good time and you know just just kick kick the shoes off, take your wig off, and I'm in a different. Just have a good time, girl. Get on the flow. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 basically just just good music. You know what I'm saying? So um, I love the, these guys, and uh, I'm glad we can all work together and, and bring y'all some you know some good music and some new music. So wow, that's what's up, guys. Let's check it out. Coming up, guys. This is I dig that with my. Fam here, CDA, let's welcome them to our platform and to the world. I dig that, baby girl, I dig that. I dig that. I got to put some I dig that. On. Just want you to have some fun when you're on the dance floor. That's all. Grab your friends yeah. and uh, grab all your friends. Get out there and dance. Yeah, that's yeah. one of them songs that can be on the dance floor. We don't play. We don't play. <laughs> yeah. No. We we didn't we didn't we didn't we didn't just start this thing. We've been in this thing since way back, and we be shaking <laughs> it. it. Ain't nothing wrong with it, baby. <laughs> and we're just getting warmed up. <laughs> This is the first crack of the egg. Wait till you see the yolk. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't heard nothing yet. <laughs> what the yolk sound like? Oh, oh that's the, the surprise. <laughs> so that's guys, the surprise. Let's move forward. What's next? What y'all doing? Y'all getting ready to release an album? Y'all working on another track? What's going on? Share with us as it relates to. You know, work. what's going to be work. in the next couple of months before, you know, when the summer gets hot, what y'all going to be doing? We, Ooh, try. we actually is working on the album. We're going to push this song because I think what, a, let me say this real quick to all artists real quick. When you release a song, it takes a year and a half mm -hmm. for your song to really blow up i'm just gonna tell you like that so if you think it's six months three months it ain't gonna happen because you gotta understand marketing and promotion and it's a whole world out here so for real if you really want your music to blow it takes a year and a half now we're gonna be working on the album like working on the album maybe somewhere up in there we're gonna release another song with the album coming out that's how this goes well i know like you, you was touching on something that actually was going to basically be the next question, and that was branding. You know, I know that you guys are branding your own self individually, but let's talk about CDA. What are you doing to really build that brand and to really, you know, monetize yourself in the game as CDA? Oh, man. CDA? Go ahead, Dave. Yeah. Keep surprising people with electrifying music. You're going to feel it. It's going to be stuff that you're going to hear it and you're not going to have enough of it. You're going to hear, listen to it again and you'll have to think about it when you listen to it. This, uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm like ripping out of the scene. More than, it takes more than that uh, when it comes to building a, a portfolio. That mm -hmm. means that everything that you touch has CDA on it. Everything right. that you speak is about CDA. So right. that's what I'm talking about when it comes to branding. I already know that you can make the music and that you got a sound that you're pumping. Now let's talk about building. Where are we well, going to go from this? Dave, won't you just tell her about uh, 
the thing you got coming up with the the UFC fighters and um, stuff like that? Well, we, we have another song that's going to go on the album. We haven't officially released it yet, but we're sponsoring some NFC fighters here in Atlanta that really like uh, a fight song that me and Ken Trell came up with. And again, one of those things where uh, from a different perspective of writing this music, uh, what does a fighter have going through his mind when he comes out uh, to uh, have the world watch him, give it all he's got and lay it on the line. So uh, we came up with this uh, track that we think gets people worked up and excited about uh, getting out there and showing out and, and giving it their all when they, when they take the, uh, the mat in the octagon. So uh, we talked to a couple of fighters. They really, really like the song and they want to play it in their, their, their dojo but we're trying to keep it under wraps the best we can so as far as branding uh you know there's different songs for different events uh, we like this i thought i grew up watching this nfc stuff ufc stuff so i have i enjoy it and this was a song that we contributed to uh these guys that lay it on the line when they go out there and they give it their all and this is their fight song so that's one of our brands we fell into, but that's one of the areas that we're working into is sponsorship with some of these that's NFT awesome. fighters that's here in Atlanta. Awesome. That's amazing because that that's definitely ooh, you talking about exposure, and yeah. yes. that is definitely you know as a new group um, that's trying to you know really get it 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 plays solidified within the the industry. I know right. we bringing our own talents and our own experience uh, but as cda and and i really like that name and when i saw the names i said that okay who came up with the name my this wife <laughs> <laughs> the queen of course the queen right. tell, her I, I tell her i send a salute to her i love her as well you know, I, I know she she's you. close by. Yes, she so right. So be right. sure and let her know that we definitely appreciate everything she does for you guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's to a, keep you going and to keep the music, you know, out there. I, she shares a lot and she connects with a lot of different people. So let me add, oh, she's wonderful. Let me yeah, add, one, there too. Let me add one thing to the sponsorship. Okay. Uh, Brandon. So yeah. what Dave was saying was the fighters, we're going to be sponsoring two fighters and those two fighters is going to be having cda on their shorts when they got that fight and we're working on a sponsorship right now with crying royal right now and hilltop records right now we're going to do some sponsorship for the label and cda too so we're coming out with shirts you're going to see us in the street with flyers you're going to you know we're going to be out there that's what's up that's what it's going to take you know, I, I was listening to a couple of guys recently over the internet and they was talking about, you know, how um, the streaming industry has definitely changed. Even um, within the past three years, uh, the, the streaming industry has changed tremendously uh, where, you know, basically everyone is on their own as far as to developing their own portfolio and, and marketing themselves. Um, right. You no longer need a lot of these different plugs that you once had uh, mm -hmm. because of the accessibility that we have with streaming and, and, and with connecting mm -hmm. and, um, you know, sharing and other sharing uh, your your music and, and your platform. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as you look on, how do you see CDA in the next four or five years as it relates to uh, streaming and, and and really capitalizing off of that market. Well, Make, I'm just, making it a brand. I'm just going to say, go ahead. CDN go ahead. is not going to be a record label. It's going to be a brand. It's going right, to be right. something that represents, it stands for something. So let me, let me say this about streaming. Right now, it's a lot of artists, Snoop Dogg, you go look it up. Everybody complaining about the streaming platforms. Uh, what we gonna do? We are on screaming, yes, we are, but we also got our own store. So, what we're gonna be able to do, we're gonna actually have people to come to us. We don't own no screaming sites, so we gotta 
we got to send them to what we own. Because what happening is, if we selling the if we selling all these copies or all these streams and all that, the money is not adding up. So I rather be I rather go out here and grind and brand ourselves with our own store and our own mm -hmm. situation, so we can see the money that we are supposed to see. That's the only downfall I see with streaming that artists don't get paid. But that's building your portfolio. That's the part of it. You can't but rely it's, on it's one cool, mechanism. But I can't feed my kids off portfolio. Right, I just yeah right. You can't rely on just streaming. Right. But one thing about it is that you control how much people are able to stream your music mm -hmm. instead of a record label right. who is who is chipping off of every moment and every dime for the rest of your life because they don't mm -hmm. want to give you your masters and all this other kind of crap. That's so why so you got to be, you gotta be just like you grinding, going from club to club and city to city. You got to be grinding on this social media. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I tell artists, don't be a social media artist because social no, media, it, I'm saying you social media have a, is good. If you have social a, media, a combination, all a of both. it will fall in place. A both. Social media right. and the streets. Because the music business yeah. is going back to the old school. I'm telling all artists this right now. Listen, I understand. Everybody <laughs> got to understand the streaming industry changes. They changed the way now. Now they're not letting people go viral no more. Okay. They stopping that. All right. So you're not going to be able to go viral no more. So now that takes away from, we just seen the comedian. He's the biggest comedian on the streaming platform. He just said it. He just started his own app because they taking money. You it's, it's not about the streaming platform. If an artist, if I sell a billion copies, you want to send me $20,000. Do that sound right? Mm-mm. No, so it's like the artist. No. It's kind of like the artist got to figure out how to make money again because the streaming platform is good. Cause everybody get a chance to hear your music. They can go screen your music. That's good. But that's but because that, guess what? Guess why it's like that? Cause the labels own it. That's right. Because it's got to be regulated. Mm -hmm. So that's and why that's you got to have your own streaming platform. That's why can nobody else stream your music. Except you. Yeah, on my platform. Right. I'm That's saying, why oh, it, the only people that can make money off of your music is you. Right. And that's the way it should be. Right. But it right. also limits you as an artist. Because there's Big Brother. But, but with him having there. his own store, with him having his own store, you can brand and you can scream how you want to. You don't have no big brother. You are the big brother. That's exactly. why you went in there and, and got your own always going to be a big brother in this industry. You just said yeah, you, don't PayPal. Own, you don't own the internet. You don't no, own... No, we don't. no, 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 no. It's not the internet that you own. You own your own screaming platform service. See, that's the right. new game. But, that's the new game I'm saying now. Someone no, is we're still... in a new game now. We're in a new ball game now. The yeah. old ball game is out the door now. We, yeah. we we creating a new ball game because the old way ain't working no more. You got to find new ways of doing things. Right. You got to have a combination of things <clears throat> right. going in order for it all to 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 really prosper or right. make a difference. You right. know, are you gotta run yourself to death from city to city and I mean, never that's really going have back a to life that. because you're trying to stay. On top of everything, yeah, with, you know, with with trying to be visible and stuff like that. Well, you know, yeah. I always tell artists when you sit down and you, if you do your music right, you're gonna have to go to city to city if you want to really eat. If you do your music right and you do what you're supposed to do right, when you quit and lay down and go to sleep, that royalty check gonna come for the rest of your life. You ain't never got to do music no more. Right. So that's right. what this is. That's what. That's see, the, this is called the music business, not the screaming service. The music business and music business is all about money. How you gonna make money from what somebody else is owning? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, how you gonna continue to make money and it's not your you right. don't own it, you don't own it, you can't make money off of somebody else's stuff. You well, sure can't. And that's right. what I keep trying to tell DJs. Um, <laughs> they're really circumventing the DJ because 
really, you're not breaking any records. You're not, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, there are so many things that people are not even aware of. And, you know, they're setting themselves up, not really for failure, but for disappointment. Mm -hmm. You know what? I got to give you a hand. I got <laughs> clap it up for it, man, for real. Clap it up for it, because she's the first DJ I ever heard say that. Pony, had not been saying that? Yeah, because well, back see, in the day. Because no day, one wants to really break face records. the facts. Right. Back in the day when DJs used to get records and break records and stuff, that would, you know, uh, like, let's, let's just say the Southern players. Um, when they broke that the record, Dicky Ride, it, it wasn't broke through no internet, nothing like that. People had to get out in the street and, you know, beat that concrete and get out there and break, really break a record. Yes. And everybody's so relaxed and sit back and, and, and wait for the internet to do this and do that and stuff like that. And like mm -hmm. Kentrell said, you got to get back out there. And like you just said, uh, DJs ain't really getting out there trying to break records no more. They just, you know, pretty much. They, they, they can't. They can't break records. Like we just talked about that. Even Kentrell mentioned they cannot break records because they don't own the music. Mm. Only the person that owns the music can stream the music without it being hit for copyright. Mm. So therefore, streaming online is really a waste of time, to be honest, uh, because most of the time the music is blocked, it's, especially if it's a certain genre of music. Right. I'm going to put that out there uh, because, I, like I say, Big Brother is always there. He's definitely going to monitor our music oh, and yeah. the access that people have to our music. Mm -hmm. Because see. Uh like Kentrell was saying, maybe like a month ago, the industry is, I feel like it's tarnished now because of the way the artist is coming out now. More about, you know, gang related and shooting and killing and all that type of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, promoters are scared to book these guys because they got to pay a big insurance thing if, you know, people get shot or killed at the, uh, at the venue, you know? So, that's the yeah. scary part of the industry too. You know, it's, it's, it's a lie guys, but you know, I'm going to break it on down. You know, any words or any, any advice that you will give an up and coming artist and we can go from Katrill to um, Pony to Dave. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to say just one thing. I'm just saying ownership is the way to go. Now don't be scared to get out here and grind again, because in reality, you can't do nothing with with none of this internet stuff. You don't own it. You're going to go so far, and they taking away the things that make you go far. So you got that's why they came up with the algorithm. Now you got to get your algorithm up before you before anybody else can know about you. So they're making it hard, right? So now you got to go back old school way and make things happen. That's all I got to say. Let's break it up right quick, but talk a little bit about. Sound exchange. I was just going to say that. Oh, go ahead then. Go yeah, ahead, no. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, uh, I owe it all really to Cantrell because he pretty much showed, and artists need to know this stuff too. You need to get out there and, and okay, it's good putting your music out, putting it on the internet, just that and third. But the first thing you need to realize is you need to make sure you got your paperwork straight. And if you ain't got your paperwork straight, it, you, you're wasting your time pretty much. Sound is changed, BMI, uh, ASCAP. ASCAP. I mean, if you ain't got that stuff together, because I, be honest with you, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I didn't know nothing about it till I, you know, Kentrell introduced me to it because we went on BMI and we did an album and I have nothing in, there was nothing even in recorded for the album that we did. Kentra was like, what happened to all the songs? That I was like, man, I don't know. And that just show you how crooked people are. You know what I'm saying? We filled out the paperwork for the BMI thing, but it was never, you know, put in. So I'm letting artists know, if you got to, you know, you you putting stuff out there, this, that, and third, take time and go back and make sure you do your paperwork because it's very important. Oh, very yeah. important. 
Get that music encoded. Get your yeah. name on it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get representation. Call Cantrell. <laughs> <laughs> I charge a fee, but call me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tonight, you know, um, I wish you the best, and uh, I'm sure that I'll be continuing to follow you guys. Uh, if I don't see you out in the city, I'll definitely be talking to you. Guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Make sure you let me know what you guys got going on whenever you're in the city of Atlanta. You know, I will anyway. You know that. <laughs> Are you coming to, to the award show or not? No. I wasn't planning on it. Okay, well, we'll talk about it. We'll, we got some other things that's going to be going on. You guys are into the trail ride yet? Uh, I'm, You know what? Uh, some guys in Texas hit me up and was asking me about, do we want to get into that? What's going on? It's popping, so you guys might need to look at it. Just go and get your cowboy boots and your cowboy hats and let's go. Yeah. Let go. Nigga, I won't put it on. Yeah. We, we dig that. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> All right, guys. You, you guys know. have a good night. All right. Appreciate One you. love. I wish One you guys. Love. I wish you guys continue success, and I'll be in touch with you. Thank you, Anthony Chad. We love you, baby. All right. Thank you. Love y'all. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Love, yeah. Guys. All right, guys. Y'all know what it is. I'll see you. It's the latest. They're doing some amazing things here in the metro area, Augusta. Make sure that you lock them in and ride with them. That's that CDA. Yes, Catrell, David, and Anthony stopped by to share a little bit about this new release. I dig that. Guys, thank you for joining me tonight on Southern Soul Atlanta's number one stream, Streets 989 Atlanta TV. You know what it is, the first lady, Southern Soul Historic MC Jazzy. We're going to get out of here with my girl, Donna Renee. We're going to finish checking that video out. What she said, let's check it out. One love until then. Make sure that you keep us locked in. Keep God first in your life. I'm out. Uh, I'm ready now. You got to put it out some way, somehow. Now it don't matter. What my girlfriend say, I need to hear it I like yesterday And when it's over, let's start over Let's play, let's play hide go seek Cause I'm ready I'm ready Come and get this loving By airplane, you can reach me by trailways. You can catch that mega bus or hit that interstate. You can reach me by Uber or catch that train. Long as you get here.